The images of the frescoes really depict the aspects that one would want to find in the Leader of the Opposition. In the office of the Leader of the Opposition, 14 frescoes decorate the walls of this historic space. Frescoes are a type of mural painting where the pigments are painted directly onto the wet plaster. The frescoes were painted by Italian artist Attilio Pristula in 1920. The themes and images were developed by architect John Pearson, with the help of William Lyon Mackenzie King, who was leader of the opposition at the time and later became Prime Minister. As the centre block undergoes major rehabilitation, experts had to determine how best to protect and preserve these irreplaceable works of art. Over the years, the frescoes became discoloured by layers of overpaint. There were also issues with humidity and salt buildup on the surface. In order to really execute a treatment thoroughly and properly, really they need to be removed and treated in a lab facility. And by removing them, we are able to do that and therefore ensure their stability for the next hundred years. But developing a plan to remove these century-old frescoes was not an easy task. Experts from Hearst Conservation, a company based out of the UK, visited the site to collect samples and analyze the plaster. The team determined the best way to remove them would be to cut out entire sections of the wall for each fresco. Then we had to actually devise and design the tool and make it because it's not as easy as going to a hardware store and picking something from a shelf. The team carefully cut into the hard plaster behind each fresco. When the cutting was complete, they installed an exoskeleton to provide stability to the fresco. They were then able to lower each section to a table and place them in crates. Experts assessed each fresco and began conservation treatment, which included reducing any damaged layers of overpaint, as well as salt removal. Once conservation treatment is complete, the frescoes will remain in storage until they can safely return to the center block. Obviously, as a paintings conservator, my favorite part was was the removal of the dis disfigured and, and uh, discolored overpaint and exposing the original, which was underneath and which still needs a lot of work, but it already looks so much better. My favorite part of working on this fresco project specifically is really just the opportunity to engage with other professionals like Hearst Conservation, and to gain knowledge from these people who are incredibly specialized and have a great deal of knowledge that we don't really have here in Canada. And so Canada is in a position to learn from working with them and then in turn sharing it with other Canadians. The major work being undertaken now will ensure the center block will continue serving Canadians for generations. To learn about some of this work in more detail, be sure to visit the photo and video galleries on the center block project website.